so good morning everyone and welcome back once again to another class of pib 247 in today's class we'll be talking about the pib news from 26 to 27th of june 2023 and the exams are very near now i hope you guys are focusing on revision right so without any delay let's begin with the class and let's talk about the very first question sabse pehle question ki baat kar lete hai very important question it, it is based on prime minister modi's visit uh, to usa Question number one, with which country has India recently resolved six outstanding WTO disputes through mutually agreed solutions? So the answer is very clear. The answer is USA. But what, what's more important for us is uh, what, which are these six outstanding or actually which were these six outstanding World Trade Organization disputes between the two countries, right? So let's talk about them and then we will come back to the question again. So six WTO disp disputes between India and USA have been resolved through the mutually agreed solutions, right? These disputes have been filed by both the countries over a, you know, decade, over a decade in various sectors like steel, aluminium, renewable energy, solar products, etc. And these negotiations by both sides mark the culmination of all these uh, disputes, right? Now, let's talk about what are these disputes. So, three of them were filed by India against USA and three were filed by USA against India. So those which were filed by India against USA are number one countervailing measures on certain hot rolled carbon steel flat products from India. Now of course you don't have to go into the details of these products that is not important. Here you have to remember just remember it. Number two certain measures relating to the uh, renewable energy sector and number three certain measures on steel and aluminium products. Now, which are those disputes which were filed uh, against India by USA? So, certain measures relating to solar cells and solar modules, solar cells and solar modules. Number two, export related measures and number three, additional duties on certain products from the United States. All right. So, these were the six disputes which and now all these six disputes have been resolved through the mutually agreed solutions during the Prime Minister's visit to USA. All right. So that is all guys about this news. And now let's come back to the question. What is the correct answer? Very easy question. Actually, the correct answer is option E United States. Question number two. Question number two is again very important. Director General of Foreign Trade, which works under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry headed by Piyush Goel, has simplified and liberalized the policy for export of drones or unmanned aerial, aerial vehicles, UAVs in short. Which of the category of drones or UAVs have been covered under it? Very important question. So, the Director General of Foreign Trade has liberalized the policy of drones and UAVs, UAVs which are meant for civilian end uses, right? Civilian end uses. Cable civilians ke lehe. Now, drone is a such product, drone is a such item which can be used by civilians and also by the military, right? That's why there were certain rules uh, and regulations made certain strict rules and regulations on the end use of drones so now such uh, rules and regulations have been liberalized by dgft right so all kinds of before this all kinds of drones or uavs were earlier controlled for export under category 5b of scomet category 5b of scomet what is scomet special chemicals organisms material equipment and technology Right. Again, we don't have to go into the details of SCOMET. That is not important for us. SCOMET list is a part of ITCHS. What is this? ITCHS, it's Indian Trade Classification Harmonized System. So, there is a classification of Indian trade products. Under that, SCOMET is a list. Right. And under SCOMET list, under category 5B, jo drones or UAVs they wo aate the. Unke upar restrictions the. Right. But now, those restrictions have been removed. It deals with category of items that are subject to specific regulations due to their potential dual use nature in civilian use and in the military use. Okay. Now, what liberalization have been done? So, basically, this liberalization in, is in line with FTP 2023 for which the detailed document I provided you guys, which has laid emphasis on facilitating export on of high tech items. Right, including bio, uh, drones or UAVs. Uh, UAVs. Now, actually, the main part is that liberalization is not the same. What is the category of drones or UAVs? Ke liye hui hai? For which category of drones or UAVs the liberalization has been done? 
सो नंबर वन फॉर दोज हुआ नॉट कवर्ड अंडर स्पेशलाइज कैटेगरी इन कॉमेट लिस्ट नंबर टू दोज हु आर कैपेबल ऑफ रेंज इक्वल टू और लेस देन ट्वेंटी फाइव मीटर एंड डिलीवरिंग पे लोड इक्वल टू और नॉट मोर देन ट्वेंटी फाइव के जीस ठीक है इक्वल टू और लेस देन ट्वेंटी फाइव के जीस एंड इट इज मेट ओनली फॉर द सिविलियन एंड यूज दिस लिबरलाइजेशन इज ओनली फॉर द सिविलियन एंड यूज विच मीन्स पीपल लाइक यू एंड मी और राइट सो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट इट सो कैटेगरी हमें आइडेंटिफाई करनी है सो ड्रोन और यूएवी इज मेट ओनली फॉर सिविलियन एंड यूज ये ड्रोन और यूएवी इज कवर्ड अंडर स्पेसिफाइड कैटेगरीज इन कॉमेट लिस्ट एक्चुअली नॉट कवर्ड अंडर ठीक है नॉट कवर्ड है सो दिस इज नॉट वन ऑफ द कैटेगरी ड्रोन और यूएवी इज कैपेबल ऑफ रेंज इक्वल टू और लेस देन ट्वेंटी फाइव किलोमीटर एंड डिलीवरिंग ऑफ पेलोड ऑफ नॉट मोर देन ट्वेंटी फाइव के जी सो दिस इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द कैटेगरी सो वट विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर देन ऑप्शन बी वन एंड थ्री ओनली इज द करेक्ट आंसर All right. I hope this is clear. Let's talk about question number three. Ministry of Power has come out with a comprehensive energy sector report titled National Energy Data Survey and Anal and Analysis 2021-22. It is the maiden report of Energy Data Management Unit, which was set up under Bureau of Energy Efficiency. This report has been prepared by Bureau of Energy Efficiency in collaboration with which of the following organizations? That is the question. Now guys, remember one thing that is report ke jo highlights hai, usme keval teen highlights hai that are important for us, right? This is a very technical report, and that's why I have not provided the details here. And you should also know not go for the details of this report. ठीक है? So it is the Ministry of Power, headed by Mr. R K Singh, Raj Kumar Singh, has come out with the comprehensive energy sector report, which is titled as National Energy Data. सर्वे एंड एनालिसिस फॉर फाइनेंशियल ईयर 2022, 21-22, राइट? इट इज़ द मेडन रिपोर्ट ऑफ एनर्जी डेटा मैनेजमेंट यूनिट व्हिच वर्क्स अंडर ब्यूरो ऑफ एनर्जी एफिशिएंसी एंड इट हैज़ बीन प्रिपेयर्ड अलोंग विद और यू कैन से इन कोलैबोरेशन विद नीति आयोग विद अदर लाइन मिनिस्ट्रीज Right, energy supply and consumption patterns across various sectors of the economy, and the data which have been picked is from financial year 2016-17 to financial year 21-22. That's why the report is titled as 21-22. All right, and it also provides overview of impact, right, impact of various energy conservation policies and their associated carbon dioxide emission reduction and monetary savings. ठीक है, now ये क्या ओवरव्यू देता है दैट इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एस वो बहुत ज्यादा टेक्निकल है ओके नाउ दीज आर द थ्री मेजर इन साइट फ्रॉम द रिपोर्ट सो द रिपोर्ट सेज दैट दी एनर्जी सप्लाई टू इकोनॉमी हैज एक्चुअली रिड्यूस्ड बाय 18 परसेंट ड्यूरिंग द लास्ट सिक्स इयर्स लोअर एनर्जी कंजम्पन वैल्यू सॉरी लोअर एनर्जी कंजम्पन वैल्यू बाय एट परसेंट इन फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी वन एंड इंक्रीज Share of electrification on consumption side to 20.9 percent. So only these three facts are important for us, and of course this is also very important that it has been released by Ministry of Power uh, uh, through Bureau of Energy Efficiency in collaboration with Niti Aayog. All right. So that is all about this report, and now let's come back to the question. So what will be the correct answer then? The correct answer will be Niti Aayog option B. Question number four. पे आ जाते हैं. Prime Minister Modi and President of USA recently participated in India-US High Tech Handshake event to review deepening technology collaboration between both the countries. Its thematic focus was or were. कौन से दो? Actually, दो themes थे इसके. Number one is AI for all, and number two is manufacturing from for mankind. So these were the two themes of this particular India-US High Tech Handshake event. ठीक है? तो correct answer तो option D हो गया. राइट बट ठीक है इसके बारे में और बात कर लेते हैं सो इट इज द इंडिया यूएस हाईटेक हैंडशेक इवेंट एंड इट टुक प्लेस बिटवीन ड्यूरिंग द प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स विजिट टू यूएसए ऑफ कोर्स एंड द ऑब्जेक्टिव वाज टू रिव्यू द टाइज बिटवीन द टू नेशंस रिगार्डिंग द टेक्नोलॉजी इन द टेक्नोलॉजी इको ठीक है और इसके अंदर क्या क्या चीजें हुई द थीमेटिक फोकस आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू ए फॉर ऑल एंड मैनुफैक्चरिंग फॉर मैन It was moderated by U.S. Secretary of Commerce Gina Raimondo. Gina, कहलो या Gina कहलो, I don't know. Gina Raimondo. 
and it saw participation of leading Indian and American CEOs. Of course, Prime Minister, आपस में technology के बारे में तो क्या ही बात करेंगे? तो CEOs का होना जरूरी है, which are from the tech companies. And its discussions focused on role and potential of India-US technology partnership in driving the adoption of AI enabled. Now everyone is talking about AI, so this meeting was also focused on AI. AI enabled inclusive economy to meet needs of the world. All right. So that is all about it. And now let's come back to the question. I already told you the answer. Option D is the correct answer. And let's talk about question number five. This is something which is very technical, but these days, since the government is focusing very much on the renewable energy things and the energy things, so that's why I decided to uh, pick up this news. But this is something which is very technical. So that's why we will study as much as we are required. Hai. Hai ji? So consider the following statements about recently introduced time of day tariff by Ministry of Power through an amendment to the Electricity Rights of Consumer Rules 2020. And you need to identify the incorrect statements. Okay, so let's talk about what are the things. So, Ministry of Power has introduced two things actually. Number one, time of day tariffs and rationalization of smart metering provisions. The smart meters are in our country are being installed. For that, some rationalization is being done. Right? So, you must be aware of this fact that smart meters are being installed across the country. So, there are uh, the Ministry of Power has done certain rationalization in the policy of installation of smart meters. Okay. By an, an amendment has been done through electricity rights of consumer rules 2020. So what are the time of day tariff? We will talk about it. Because it is a technical. Hai. Time of day tariff. Time of day tariff kya hai? It is a you know, globally recognized uh, you know, ek system. Hai. It is a globally recognized system. And Jitri bhi electronic uh, electricity industries has no score recognized kya hai globally as an important demand side management measure. Now, what is this demand side management measure? The voice may kya hota hai? Ma aap in simple words. Let's say right now when I am recording this video, or right now when you are watching this video, actually, this is the daytime and sun is there. Right? So, what happens under time of day tariff is during the sun hours, during the sun hours, the tariffs are low. The tariffs are low, the electricity tariffs, which is the bill of electricity. While during the uh, evening hours, when the sun is not high, that time the tariffs are high. That time the tariffs are high. Now, how it will benefit uh, to the consumers or the electricity producing company? How will it benefit to the benefit kaise dega consumers or the electricity producing company? Ko? So, if I talk about electricity producing companies, so they will get higher tar tariffs. Right, they, they will get higher tariff during the evening times. So their revenue will increase. Number one, and how it will benefit the consumers? So consumers, what will they will do? They will, uh, you know, switch towards the renewable energy things. Wo renewable energy ki taraf jayenge, jisse unka jo overall cost hai, that will reduce. And of course, dusra benefit unko ye hai that during the daylight, they the jo bijli ka bill hai, that is the tariffs are less. Right? During the daylight, the tariffs are less. So, this is the whole idea of time of day tariff. It is used as means of incentivizing consumers to shift portion of their loads from peak times to off-peak times. Okay, consumers ko, ab dekho, isme ye bhi hoga ki maal lo ki ab mein koi kaam raat ko baitke kar raha ho, to mein din mein kar lunga ki thik yaar, din mein bichli ka bil kam aay. Right? So, this is also one of the benefit. To off peak times, thereby improving system load factor by reducing demand on the system during the peak period. Peak period pe demand kam jayega, lights kam jayengi, power supply jo hai wo proper rahengi. Right? Now, TOD tariff under it, electricity tariff will vary according to time of day rather than present mechanism of charging electricity at the same rate. Abhi to subeh ho ya sham ho, hamesha semi rate rehta tariff ka, right? But with the approval of this, with the accept, uh, acceptance of this, Right, what will happen during the daylight? The tariffs will be less, while during the night, the tariffs will be higher. Tariff during solar hours, it will be 10 to 20 percent less than the normal tariff, while during the peak hours, it will be 10 to 20 percent higher than the normal tariffs. Okay, ji? It will be applicable for commercial and industrial consumers having maximum demands of 10 kilowatt and above, 
and it will come into effect for from april 2024 for commercial and industrial consumers commercial and industrial consumers ke liye april 2024 se aa jayega ye matlab from the next year and april 2025 for most other consumer except those in agriculture sector theek hai ji and what about the rationalization in smart metering provisions so first of all no penal charges will be imposed on the consumers for defaults done before the installation of smart meters now जनरली आप लोगों के घर में भी ऐसा होता होगा दैट यू हैव इंस्टॉल्ड अर टू किलो वॉट मीटर एंड यू आर यूजिंग यू आर यूजिंग इलेक्ट्रिसिटी विच रिक्वायर्स अ मीटर ऑफ फोर किलो वॉट सो दिस इज अ डिफॉल्ट सो बिफोर दिस रैशनलाइजेशन वॉट यूज टू बी डन वॉज बिफोर इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ स्मार्ट मीटर्स ये जो आपने गलती करी है वट दिस डिफॉल्ट विच यू हैव डन फॉर दिस पेनल्टीज यूज टू बी लिवाइड On the consumers, but that penalty has now been uh, उसको हटा दिया गया है ठीक है इट हैज नाउ बिन रिमूव एंड लो रिविजन प्रोसीजर ऑल्सो हैज बिन रैशनलाइज नाउ वॉट विल आपन इट विल रिवाइज मैक्सिम डिमांड अपवर्ड ओनली इफ द सैंक्शन लोड हैज बीन एक्सीडेड एटलीस्ट थ्री टाइम्स इन फाइनेंशियल ईयर अगर कम से कम तीन बार आपका लोड एक्सीड हुआ है विद रेस्पेक्ट टू द लोड जो कि आपने इंस्टॉल करा रखा है अगर उससे तीन बार से ज्यादा एटलीस्ट थ्री टाइम्स अगर एक्सीड हुआ है तो ही आपके जो लोड है मीटर का वो रिवाइज होगा राइट योर मीटर लोड विल बी रिवाइज ओनली इफ योर कंजम्पन हैज एक्सीडेड द रिक्वायर्ड कंजम्पन एटलीस्ट थ्री टाइम्स इन अ फाइनेंशियल ईयर और राइट सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर नाउ लेट्स कम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन वी नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई द इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट अंडर इट टैर ड्यूरिंग सोलर आर्स विल बी टेन टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट लेस ये Tariff during peak cars will be 10 to 20 uh, 10 to 20 percent higher. Ye bhi theek hai. It will come into effect from April 2024 for most other consumers except those in agriculture sector. I think this is incorrect. Ye dono ulta ulta likha hua. The three and four statements, the year are reversed. So three and four will be the correct answer. Option D because we need to identify the incorrect statements. All right. Now let's talk about the questions in short. But before that. If you want to have the PDF of this class, you can join the Telegram channel. The link is provided in the description. And if you want to buy, if you want to purchase the RBI Grade B Pasture Paper Book, which we have recently launched, you can visit Amazon and Anujindal.in. And that book contains pasture papers from 2010 to 2022 with detailed explanation for both the phases, phase one and phase two. Question number six: Where has Indian Pharmaceutical Alliance organized? 8th edition of global pharmaceutical quality summit under the theme patient centricity new paradigm of manufacturing and quality so where it was organized it was organized at mumbai now guys let me tell you one thing here the people generally take for grant these questions in short but you don't have to do it and in these questions in short you just don't have to remember the this this the question which has been asked in the question itself there are a lot of information like for example this was organized by this organization the theme was this and it was located uh, organized in in mumbai to teen information hai yahan pe there is not only one information ki ye kahan pe hua tha there are three information which you have which you can extract from this particular question theek hai ji to mumbai is the correct answer option a Question number seven. Minister of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution has directed FCI to conduct the e-auctions of wheat and rice to check the inflationary trends in prevailing retail prices as a part of market intervention to control the price of wheat and rice. So, what is the maximum quantity that a buyer can bid through this e-auction? Very important question. ठीक है जी, hundred metric tons is the correct answer. Option B. Question number eight: The Union Budget 2023 had approved a disbursement towards spending dues up to rupees uh, this much crore. This number is not important for you. Of employees at British India Corporation Limited, which is a public sector undertaking under which ministry? It is a textile uh, mill actually, and it uh, its establishment dates back to 1876, and it is located in Kanpur. Kanpur is in Uttar Pradesh. So the correct answer is Ministry of Textile. Option C. Due to infrastructure push of Government of India, steel consumption has increased from 77 metric ton 
टू वन ट्वेंटी मेट्रिक टन एंड पर कैपिटल स्टील कंजन हैज इंक्रीज फ्रॉम सिक्सटी के जी इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन टू एटी सेवन के जी राइट नाउ सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेल हैज स्टार्टेड वर्किंग ऑन द इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ इट्स बिगेस्ट एवर कैपिटल एक्सपेंशन प्लान ऑफ अबाउट वन पॉइंट वन लाख करोर आउट ऑफ विच अबाउट डैश विल बी स्पेंट ऑन ऑगमेंटिंग एक्जिस्टिंग फेसिलिटीज दैट इज द ब्राउन फील्ड प्रोजेक्ट एंड सम अमाउंट विल गो टू द ग्रीन फील्ड प्रोजेक्ट सो यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई दैट वॉट अमाउंट विल गो टू द ब्राउन फील्ड प्रोजेक्ट एंड वॉट अमाउंट विल गो टू द ग्रीन फील्ड प्रोजेक्ट सो फॉर ब्राउन फील्ड प्रोजेक्ट इलेवन थाउजेंड करोर हैव बीन अलोकेटेड एंड फॉर ग्रीन फील्ड प्रोजेक्ट इट्स वन लाख करोर सो वॉट विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन सी ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन विच वेराइटी ऑफ शॉर्ट ग्रेन विंटर एरोमेटिक राइस कल्टिवेटेड इन द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न रीजन ऑफ इंडिया is effective in lowering the blood glucose and preventing diabetes onset and hence effective in diabetes management this is important for the nabard aspirants and yes which reminds me of the fact that nabard aspirants you guys also should start seriously your preparation because the exam is expected in the you know the notification is expected very soon so you guys should uh, start preparing for it the correct answer to this question is johar rice option a Question number twelve: Which PSU has been honoured with the prestigious title of most preferred workplace of 2023-24 by Team Marksman? Now, what is Team Marksman? That is not important for us. That is a independent organisation which has, uh, you know, given the title of most preferred workplace of 2023-24 to NTPC Limited. Option A is the correct answer once again. Question number thirteen: Which state's housing and urban development department? as part of city wide inclusive sanitation has partnered with mission shakti self help group right mission shakti self help group for integrating women led sgs and transgender groups across decentralized solid and liquid waste management value chain so which state is this this state in question is odisha option c is the correct answer Question number fourteen: With which organization has Indian Railways signed an MOU for collaboration on renewable energy and energy efficiency? Can you identify this organization? Yes, it is USAID India. Option D is the correct answer. Question number fifteen: With which state has NHPC Limited, the largest hydro power development organization in India, signed an MOU for setting up of these two projects? Number one, <clears throat> self-identified pumped storage projects of at least two thousand megawatt, renewable energy projects of at least thousand megawatt in the state. The correct answer once again is Odisha. Option C is the correct answer. Who became the first Indian? Very important question. Phase one will come. Yeah, boy. To be awarded with Order of the Line, uh, Order of the Nile, not Line. It's Nile. The highest civil award of Egypt. तो पता ही है सबको आंसर पता है इसका पता ही होगा भाई प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी ऑप्शन ही इज द करेक्ट आंसर सेवनटीन वेयर इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फाइनेंस ऑर्गेनाइजिंग द थर्ड जी ट्वेंटी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर वर्किंग ग्रुप मीटिंग अंडर इंडिया जी ट्वेंटी प्रेसिडेंसी आई थिंक मुझे अभी बताने की जरूरत नहीं पड़नी चाहिए बिकॉज इन वेरी मच डिटेल आई हैव प्रोवाइडेड अ वीडियो ऑन जी ट्वेंटी स्पेसिफिकली द करेक्ट आंसर इज बताओ जल्दी वट इज द करेक्ट आंसर ऋषिकेश विच इज इन उत्तराखंड ऑप्शन ए क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग खरीफ क्रॉप हैव सीन इंक्रीज इन एरिया कवरेज एज ऑन ट्वेंटी थ्री जून ट्वेंटी थर्ड जून टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एज पर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड फार्मर्स वेलफेयर जनरली मैं ये वाली न्यूज नहीं लेता बट ये वाली चीज इंक्रीज इन एरिया कवरेज वाली चीज इन्होंने बार बार बताई है इन द प्रीवियस मंथ so i have decided to pick it for the very recent uh, news uh, from the very recent release 23rd june 2023 so you can see here rice mein decrease hua hai uh, rice mein uh, decrease hua hai yes pulses mein <coughs> increase hua hai shri anna core cereal mein bhi increase hua hai and <coughs> oil seeds mein decrease hua hai right so the correct answer will be 2 and 3 option d will be the correct answer and the last question for today 
द लेबर ट्वेंटी समिट अंडर इंडिया जी ट्वेंटी प्रेजिडेंसी हेल्ड इन पटना बिहार हैज रिजोल्व फॉर अ मल्टी लेटरल मैकेनिज्म अमंग जी ट्वेंटी मेंबर स्टेट एंड अदर एसोसिएटेड कंट्रीज ऑन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग टॉपिक्स बताओ आंसर द आंसर इज पोर्टेबिलिटी ऑफ सोशल सिक्योरिटी बेनिफिट ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर ठीक है जी तो ये था आज की क्लास आई होप ऑल द क्वेश्चन एंड देर एक्सप्लेनेशन आर क्लियर If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. And yeah, I will see you in the next class. Till then, keep studying and keep studying hard. Goodbye, take care, and God bless.